So today I'm talking about a P0100 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0100 code? Well, it's a mass airflow math circuit problem. And what does this mean? Well, the mass airflow sensor measures all the air that goes into the engine. And then the onboard computer uses this information to adjust the air fuel ratio mixture that goes into each cylinder. And the onboard computer seen a problem with this. So it's got to be troubleshooting to know why. And what are some possible causes? Well, it could be a bad or dirty math sensor. It could be a dirty intake air filter. It could be faulty wiring. It could be a blowing fuse it could be a vacuum leak and it could possibly be something's restricting the exhaust so if you do have other problems like a clog catalytic converter or something like that then it's definitely something to keep in mind and so the first thing to do is to go check out your air intake filter and be sure that it's not clogged up or dirty or anything because if the air intake filter gets really super dirty and clogged up then air won't be able to go into the engine and it's going to cause a problem with the MAF sensor so first thing to do go check out your air intake filter and if it is dirty then it's a good idea to replace it and then the next thing to do is to locate the MAF sensor on your particular vehicle which is going to be located right around the air intake box somewhere for example here's a 2006 Chevy Silverado and and here's the air intake box and here's the MAF sensor right here here's another example of a 2012 Toyota Corolla and the MAF sensor is right here here's the air intake box but go locate the MAF sensor on your particular vehicle and then check out the wiring real good and be sure that it's not damaged or anything basically just keep in mind anything wrong with the wiring open short bad connection is going to cause the same symptoms as a bad MAF sensor also keep in mind that these are on a fuse it could be kind of vague sometimes on which fuse is controlling the MAF sensor. For example, here's a 2016 Honda CRV, and the MAF sensor fuse would be on the ACG number two fuse. And as a fuse blew, then it would cause issues. So that's something to keep in mind. And so a common problem with these MAF sensors is that they just become dirty and they just need to be cleaned up. They get all kinds of grime on them and things like this. This is very common. There's a special cleaner that you could buy called MAF airflow sensor cleaner. You can also use something like isopropyl alcohol that could be a good cleaner also. And so if you gone through and you checked all that, you checked out the wiring, that looks good there's no blowing fuses the, the air intake filter is good you clean that MAF sensor and it's still just giving you problems then it might be a good idea to go ahead and replace it you can't test it if you want to I made a video on how you go about testing them with the low-cost OBD2 scan tool I'll put a link down below if you need it it's fairly simple to test these MAF sensors to see if they have failed like I said I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out many people would go ahead and replace it since it is a low-cost part but however you want to do it the next thing to do is either test or replace that MAF sensor and so if you've gone through and you've done all that you cleared this code and the code comes back or you're still having issues with this then it is possible that there's a vacuum leak somewhere on the intake manifold and there's some different ways you go about checking for a vacuum leak one of the methods i like to use is i use a smoke machine and basically when you use this method you just feed smoke into the intake manifold and wherever the smoke comes out you know where there's a leak there's some other methods too. Some mechanics will use like a liquid and they'll have the engine run it and they'll go around and spray where they think there might be a vacuum leak at. And if the engine idle changes, then they know that's where it's leaking at. So there is some different methods you can use. But the next thing to go and do is to go look and see if there's a vacuum leak. And the last thing on this list that could cause this problem is that if there's like a restricted exhaust that something's clogging up all the air from flowing out of the engine and through the exhaust. This includes things like a clogged catalytic converter, a clogged up muffler, or a damaged exhaust pipe or something. Something. And when this happens, you'll use to get other codes. So if you are getting other codes, be sure to pay attention to that. But the last thing on the list is going to be that for some reason the exhaust is clogged up and so the air can't flow through the engine right and so it's just throwing out this p0100 code and so that's basically it i just wanted to give an overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the p0100 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day